Today we're talking electrical systems and how you keep an electrical system for a big house and a complex electrical system organized throughout a project and get it ready for inspection. So let's take it away. So today we're at the Venkatesh project and I'm with Pat Dugan who's the project manager of Venkatesh. And Pat, so we're about getting ready for our rough all inspection and I see electrical all over this house and there are a lot of light switches and a lot of circuits. And I noticed that the electrical panels uh, or the, out, the boxes actually have a bunch of writing all over them and they look highly organized even though they look extremely complex. Can you take us a little bit of through how these projects are laid out and how we're paying attention to the organization to make sure that like this one specific position in the, um, in the electrical box controls the lights that the client wants controlled and it's actually organized by the architect and the client within this box so that the first switch affects these lights and everything else. Absolutely. So first off, it starts out with a highly developed uh, reflected ceiling plan. So what that happens is the architect with the clients get together and they develop the overall lighting layout throughout the entire house. Um, that's followed by before anything what we have our electrician do is as per the RCP or reflected ceiling plan, we go through and we pre-box everything out, meaning we take our boxes for receptacles, our switches throughout the entire house, place them as per plan. Um, that's followed up by a site walk with the architects, the contractors, the electricians, and the clients to make sure everything is as proposed and everything works well. A lot of the times throughout that process, you're going to go through, there might be little changes, things like that. So there's the initial walk, then we start wiring, we'll do a secondary and a third, and then- So three different walks by the clients and the architects, just for electrical. Just for electrical. And when you said, so the box walk, which is that first kind of walk through, that's the electrical boxes for switches and for outlets. Do you also have the lights in their positions? Absolutely, so okay. what we do um, is the electricians will go through, they'll put their string lines, find all their centers and spot all the cam lights. Um, in, for this instance, what we had is, you could see there's two lines up there. These can lights were initially laid out to be on the higher uh -huh. uh, string line. And after the, the first walkthrough is decided to span those down a little more, just away from, there's going to be some center um, pendant ceiling fixtures off of the beams and everything. So where they wanted to spread those out uh, as well as with the audio, the speaker locations. So the string makes sure that they're all aligned. That's correct. Everything has strings run to make sure everything is in line and, and just true to plan. How often during a box walk is the work that you actually build or after the box walk is the work that you actually build the same as the work that's in the plan? the same layout as it is in the plan? Um, I'd say really it's 50-50. It, it depends on you know how developed it was initially. Right. So it's, it's how much input was in with the clients and the architect. Um, this one was very close to as per the re reflected ceiling plan. Okay. Even though there were about five revisions of the reflected ceiling right. plan before we got to that approved plan. So the architect for this project is Fergus Garber and we actually love working with Fergus Garber not only because the amount of attention they pay to their plans is extraordinary, but really the guidance that they give to their architects has just been an amazing experience to watch. And you know, we see a full spectrum of architects and I think it's really incredible and important to point out when somebody does something really awesome. So lastly, I see the boxes and there's things written on individual wires. What is that? Um, really important organizational, so there's no confusion of what switch is going where. So this is all made up, this, this right here is ready for inspection. We have all our line voltage coming in, it's labeled on the wire and then they, put, they, they keep the little piece on here labeling exactly what goes where. So we have all of our connections inside our box um, ready to go for inspection. There's, there's no questions asked and it really, really makes the, ins the uh, rough inspection for electrical go smoothly. And they can't actually test this. There's no electrical. That's why we're kind of 
putting our fingers in this box, right? Like there's no electrical That's running through right. here, right? Yes. And so they can't really test them to make sure they're light. So the really organization of the electrical plant is super important. And you really need to hire a good electrician that's got a lot of experience, especially in projects like this, because how many circuits are in this house? Um, upwards of 80. So 80 individual circuits. So hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands of feet of wire and all of it's organized. Do we ever see like, oh, like this light doesn't light up that switch? Uh, I mean, is, it, is there errors like that or is it pretty much like they dial it every time? It's pretty dialed. Every once in a while, we'll run into a punctured wire, which during okay. during drywall, something like that, um, we do try and prepare for that by using nail plates and also. Okay, so labor. the nail plates are are these things at the bottom of the wall that keep the drywallers when they put screws through here from hitting the wires. That's correct. So awesome. We we do what we can and we mark out on say if there's a shear wall with plywood, we'll mark where those wires are going through on the face of the surface of that. So Got it's it. also visible. So that's really, I mean, your job as a project manager is highly complex because you have all of these different trades and they're all coming in here trying to uh, avoid damaging other people's project or other people's work. Yep. Okay, yes. awesome. If you're interested in learning more about the Venkatesh project or about the electrical design, please hit subscribe as we show you how to build a better way.